come on. Seriously, don't try to hide your face. It's too late. I already saw your eyes. See, I told you you were going to cry when it was finally time for me to leave. I said we, me too. This is why we already said our goodbyes upstairs before we were in front of everybody. Come on. You know that I am not going to leave you right here in the middle of a tear falling. I love you. Okay? Oh, come here. I don't care if you need 10,000 goodbyes. We have spent a lot of time together. It has been a lot of memories. I'm not ready to walk away. Not without feeling sad. So I wouldn't put that expectation on you either. You want to say goodbye again? That's okay. You can have another one. I told you, you can have 10,000. Do you need another goodbye with me? Come on. You come here. Step away with me just for a second. So I can talk to you alone. I get all weird when I do this in front of other people. I just want to be alone with you for a second. Can I give you another hug? Fuck, I'm gonna miss this. I already know how much it's gonna suck not being close enough to just grab you and hug you. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea what all this was gonna turn into. How much I was gonna care about you. How much I was gonna miss you. When it was time for me to go. Don't do that. Don't pretend like this isn't sad. I'm sad about it too. God, I wish everything wound up in such a better place, you know? And that I could stick around. Hug me again. Not because you need it. Did I say you need it? No. I need it, damn it. You know that one saying? It's about having loved and lost and blah, blah, blah. I've never been able to make my mind up about whether I think that is total bullshit. I sort of think in the end it doesn't even matter. Because when you're standing at the end of something here like we are, who cares if it would have been better if it didn't happen? It did happen. All of it happened. You were here, and I knew you, and we, we were here together for a long time. Like, you just meet so many people through life, you know, but some people stick. We didn't just meet, we intersected. We stuck for years. And I'm so sad. That it's gonna change and I have no idea if all of the good times that we had together balance this really shitty thing that's happening how would or what I suck at philosophy all I know is that we went through a lot together here didn't we and I don't take that lightly at all I don't think I have ever laughed as hard as I did when I was with you. No, honestly. I swear to God. Laughing with you was so different than laughing before you. Everything was falling asleep with you. Waking up with you and getting coffee with you was all different. Being around you was... It was the first place 
in a long time that I actually wanted to be and to stay and to go to. And I already know that I'm going to want to go back. I'm going to want to come back. You were the first place I could actually stick around. Now you have no idea if we're better off or worse off for everything that we went through together. I would be a lot less sad right now if none of it happened. Because I wouldn't have anything that I was leaving that makes me cry. <laughs> I just know that without you, the last few years of my life would have looked really, really different. You changed a lot for me. Like, about me and my life. And I love you. I will always love you. <laughs> Shut up. You know me. I am always talking too much. Texting too much. I could never stop caring about you if I actively tried. You've always been on my mind. And you're always going to be on my mind. Well, I can guarantee that. So that's not even something that you ever have to wonder, okay? If you do wonder, you know the answer. Split circuit later, yeah. She thinks about me and she loves me and she's going to miss me. Because I promise. I promise I will always miss you. And that I'm always thinking of you. And I'm always... Remembering all that laughter <laughs> and all the sleepovers, okay? I know. I do. I really do. Because goodbyes are always so sad to me, too. It doesn't matter. If I was telling you goodbye right now and I was going to see you again tomorrow, I'd still be sad. I hate goodbyes. It doesn't matter how long they last. I hate them. And I always cry. And I hate that too. I am such a baby about these things. It's okay. You don't have to be happy that we're saying goodbye. And I'm not happy about it. Sometimes I still just gotta do it, you know? But that does not mean that this is for good. How should I know? How should any of us know? I didn't know I was going to meet you. Or that I was going to give such a damn about you for so long, apparently. So, we have to do what we have to do for now. We say goodbye again. And then we miss each other like fuck. And we remember everything. Okay? Everything. And we wish like fuck that it was all happening right now for the first time all over again. God. And we resent the fact that it's not. That we can't relive it. And that we can only replay it and be jealous as hell of ourselves. And then who knows? Maybe one day we intersect again. Maybe one day we'll stick longer than we did. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't have to be able to see how all those pieces fit back together right now. Do we? We never saw it coming the first time. Maybe we'll just be surprised again. I hate this part. Because <laughs> I told you all my cheesy Hallmark things and... Fuck, there's only one thing left. <laughs> I'm late, you know. <laughs> I was supposed to leave a little bit ago. <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd really like if you walked me to the door. To my car. I'm so sorry. I don't think we have anything left to say. 
<laughs> no. I'm not ready. Are you? <laughs> One last hug. I love you. Fuck. I know, and... God, I really am behind schedule, so I know that when... Oh, when the hug's over, it's time. I don't want it to be time. You ready to be brave and say it? <laughs> It's stolen. I love you too. Me say it first, you say it first. On the count of three, together. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Bye. <laughs>